So that's it for existential uh, generalization. The next is existential instantiation. Okay, for existential instantiation, this is number four, and I'm just going to put it down here because it's not a long proof. I'm going to have to erase one of these though for the conditional. Um, number four. Okay, um, assume that we're given the following uh, premises. Um, we have for all x, if x is an A, then x is a B, that's line one, line two, um, there's at least one x, um, x is an A, A, x, okay, so we're given, um, for all x, if x is an A, then x is a B, and there's at least one x such that that x is an A. Um, and the conclusion we're trying to attain is B, Y. That's the goal, right? We're trying to get to uh, Y is a B. Um, how do we go about attaining this? And how do we go about, oh, and I forgot to write it. Ah, bastard. Um, this is existential instantiation. Let me write it so it looks like I maintain the form. Sorry about that. This is existential instantiation uh, for the existential instantiation, and it's EI. Did I put that up here? I didn't put it over here either. This is EG. Um, yeah, and I didn't put the symbolization. I'm sorry. And here, I'm messing up. Um, 9 is EG. Sorry. And this is EG. Okay. Here, this is EI, existential instantiation. Okay. Now I can write the line one. I'm running out of space here. Line one is what? Um, for all x, if x is an A, then x is a B. Line two, uh, there's at least one x such that x is an A, and my conclusion is to get to B, Y. Okay, this one's very, very, obviously is very short because I don't need a lot of space in order to uh, demonstrate the proof for this. Very simple. Number three, remember, anytime you're using, you, you know we're going to be instantiating both universally and existentially. Anytime you're using universal instantiation, an existential instantiation and a proof of validity for predicate logic, you always existentially, existentially instantiate before your universal instantiation. So the first thing that we're going to do on line three is instantiate this AY. We know it's going to be Y. So we get AY, and that is uh, existential instantiation on line two. Right. We get AY because we've existentially instantiated it on line two, and we do that before we do our universal. Then we go to line four. Line four, we're able to instantiate our universal claim, which is if y is an a, then y is a b. Right? We're able to instantiate our universal claim, if y is an a, then y is a b. And that's universal instantiation on line one. Let me move this over so that it's in line. This is two, you know, and this is line one, ui. The conclusion we're trying to get to is by, uh, if uh, y is a b. So we have if p, then q, p, if I jump, I will fall. If I jump, I will fall. I jump, therefore I fall. The last line is line five. We get by, which is what we're trying to get. All right, how did we get to by? We did modus ponens on line four and uh, line three. So it was line four and line three, mp. And that's it. So existential uh, instantiation, uh, very brief, very simple. Um, but that's, I, I just wanted to be very clear in that. 
Um, we've used existential instantiation here, and it was a little bit longer, but you get the idea. I just wanted to show you all the different forms, right? And technically, <coughs> this concludes the, there's one more that I'm going to show you, but this concludes um, sort of the array. I wanted to set out uh, in the discussion all the different forms, and these are the preliminary forms. As I said, the, the fully realized um, uh, forms are a little bit more complicated, but we'll get there eventually. Right? Universal instantiation, here you go. Universal generalization, here you go. Existential instantiation, here you go. With the caveat that, uh, or sorry, existential generalization and instantiation, with the caveat that you always existentially instantiate before you universally instantiate. Here, here's an example. And then existential, uh, existential instantiation is the last, right? So we have both forms of instantiations, universal and existential, and we have both forms of generalization, both universal and existential. So this is, uh, this is the totality of uh, these preliminary um, proofs of validity using predicate logic.